cry aloud and spare not and lift up your voice like a trumpet. But what is at the end of your cry and the trumpet like voice? What is there after you are lifting up your voice and you cry aloud and you sound like a trumpet? What comes out? I want you to say, accepting the greater portion, and no longer the status quo. accepting the greater portion. You see, unless you know what it is you're looking for, anything you encounter is going to be the thing. Whatever, unless it is you identify, you know what you're looking for, anything you put your hand on is going to be the thing. How many single women are you going to hear? Don't fret, put your hand up, man. Today, God. I beg your pardon? <laughs> How are you going home with me today? I thought my own girl was married. What I see is why you're putting her hand up as sin or something. Is that a message? Any car is a car. 
this child understands the difference in behavior, and so the child knows what he wants. Yes. Unless you know what you want, you will get a car. So when you're going to shout, you have to know what is coming out. Because whatever comes out remains and never leaves the atmosphere. Never leaves the atmosphere. Sometimes you hear people say, um, oh, um, people say things like, um, oh, right now I got a pain and it's just killing me. As soon as I hear you say that, I said, tell me what kind of suit you want me to wear to the funeral. <laughs> you tell me, because you said it's killing you. Yes. So tell me what kind of suit you want me to wear. Uh -huh. wow. What comes out of your mouth is what God hears. Yes. What comes out of your mouth is what travels in the atmosphere. Amen. And as it travels, it picks up light transmissions. As it picks up light transmissions, it comes back in a circuit. And then now when the thing happened to you, you want to know how come it happened. Because you set it on. So then you have to watch what you say. Life and death are 